Here we have 9.6, transforming the graph of a function by shrinking and stretching. So this is also going to be important on what's happening. And um, I actually like to make, I say it out loud, but it may help to make a table. So I'm actually going to do a table here just to help you see what's happening. Um, and then I'm going to say the new y value okay so this one's the old y value and the new y value so i'm going to take all the points so the this coordinate here is negative two for x and then one two three four for y negative four um this point here is zero zero and then this point here is negative or one two three four for x and negative two for y and so those are the points that I'm going to use to draw because I need these two points to make this little piece segment and I need these two points to make this little segment when I edit it, right? So then now, because there's a 2 on the outside, I'm going to do exactly as it says but to the y values. So I'm going to take 2 times the y values. So then if I take this negative 4 and I multiply it by 2, I get negative 8. If I take this 0 and I multiply it by 2, I still get 0. And if I take this y value, negative 2, and multiply it by 2, I get negative 4. And so then what I need to do is I need to plot the new points. So let me write this down over here. So my new points are going to be negative 2 for x and negative 8 for y. 0 and 0, and then 4 and negative 4. And so I'm going to graph these, negative 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. So about right here. And then 0, 0, and then 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. So then if I connect these two with the segment, and I connect these two with the segment, we get this graph. And so what it's done is it's made it look more narrow. And that's what a factor of two should be doing, is making it look more narrow. Now, when it's on the inside, it does the opposite. So it's probably gonna make this look a lot wider, but we'll find out, okay? So when it's on the inside, you have to do the opposite, which is divide by two or multiply by a half. So we have to do one half times the x values. And so then I like to make a table of the values that we have um, and I'm going to leave it blank. So I'm going to put X, old X's, and then the new X's. So the old X's here is negative 2, and the Y value here was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or negative 4, sorry. Then here we had 0, 0, so 0 and 0. And here we have 2, and it looks like it should be at negative 5. So positive 2 and negative 5. And then what we're doing with each of those values is we're going to multiply the x values by 1 half. So 1 half of negative 2 is negative 1. 1 half of 0 is still 0. And then 1 half of 2 is positive 1. So the new points are going to be the new x value and the same y value new x value, same y value, new x value, same y value. So we get negative 1 and negative 1, 2, 3, 4. We get 0, 0, and then we get 1 and negative 5. So actually this one makes it look more narrow as well. Right? So these are both making the graph look very narrow. So then now we're going to move on to the next one. So what happens if we have a fraction instead of a whole number, right? For It's the same thing as before. Whatever's on the outside, I'm going to do that exact thing. So since it's one half on the outside, I'm going to do one half times the y values. And so then here, the x value is going to stay 4. The y value is 0, but half of that y value is still 0. 
Here I'm at two and one, two, three, four, but half of that y value would be two, the x is staying the same. And then zero, zero, the half of a zero is still zero, so that is gonna stay the same. So then the graph ends up looking like this. So it just looks like it shrunk, right? It's now shorter instead of longer. So now here, I have the one half inside the parentheses. So it does the opposite. Instead of multiplying by one half, I should be dividing by one half. But dividing by one half is the exact same thing as multiplying by two over one, or just two. So I'm gonna take all of my x values and multiply them by two. So this point here, zero, zero. If I take the zero from the x coordinate and multiply that by two, it's still zero. So the point still stays at zero, zero. Whereas this point is negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and one, two, three, four. So negative four and four is the original. I'm going to take the x value and multiply it by two, so I get negative eight. The y value doesn't change, so it becomes negative eight and still a four y value. So that ends up putting me at um, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that ends up putting me over here. And then I can connect those two. Okay, so you have to be very, very careful. So this one was stretching closer to the y-axis and now it's getting further from the y-axis, right? This one got further away the x-axis and now it's getting closer to the x-axis. So just some observations that you can take from the certain coefficients based on what type of coefficient it is and then whether it's on the inside or it's on the outside of the basic function.